What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. We're back with Chair, the Guru King. Wait, did I say Guru? The Grand Maju King himself. Yeah, you know. And today he's bringing Grand Maju Border. And uh, we're at Locals. And he's undefeated today. Undefeated yes. at Locals with Grand Maju Border. So, with that being said, Chair, you want to get right into it? Alright, let's start. Alright. Okay, right off the bat, best card in the game right there. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, no, so yeah. Are we really playing Grand Maju or are we just playing... Exactly. I'm the original shifter, okay? okay? I shifted people before they knew it was a card, okay? This is like the OG Maju card. This card's insane. Exactly. Against everything. Basically. Yeah, except yeah. except, except flu. Yeah. Except or flu. flu, yeah. yeah. So we have some other things for that, but yeah. Okay. There's, you have played this, right? Tournaments, of course. Whatever. Okay, and then the of course the mean boy here, you know the Three best part there. Grand Maju. There we go. It's the deck, right? It's, it's desire or prosperity and then punch someone in the face, you know. Do you guys want to hear something funny? You know how many times you've and I know you and you're gonna agree with this. You know how many times you've just put this in defense mode? Yeah. And your opponents attack into it. If it's not like I like my actual local, like people always fall for it, right? They're yeah. Just like, what is that? I was hoping that they killed themselves. We know you now, so yeah, we're not gonna it fall doesn't for work it. as well in this local, but whatever. Anywhere else it works. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Smart, smart. And then two eaters, cause uh, you know it's like a. It's okay, like, because you won't see it sometimes, but not always. It's like three is like too many, but okay. two is just enough. And I do need like a lot of my extra deck space for like prosperity and stuff like that. So two is fine. Okay. Fine, yeah. Okay, and here are the other boss monsters of this deck, of course. Best deck. There you go. So outside of your Grand Maju, this is your this best. This is the Wing Kong. Yeah. It's the best known uh, so, um, or something. Exactly. Going first, I just set him up first, right? Because it's like control. Yeah. So I normal summon him, do my plays, whatever, and then they can't even ash me, so I can do my pots and stuff. And then uh, after they pass, like, yeah, turn two, I. Like turn three, I have just more Maju and kill them right there. Yeah. So it's like, a, you know, recur some setup, but. It's just it's that's so like good when everything it, when it goes basically. On, yeah. Yeah. Okay, border, and then of course the three other best card for Maju. Squeeze Mac, right? It's just like boost my Maju. Free body. Yeah, free body, you know, it's free pressure, you know, it's always good to have. Okay, that's all the monsters I play, you know, onto the spells. I'm gonna play Super Poly. Like, of course. You, you gotta play Super Poly, for my it's too good, right? Like, it's just like going first is good, going second, you can still play it. So, you know, I need some like going second card, so. Yeah, this is like a going like first stun build, so it's not like the OG like 40 car like going second beat down, so it's a different build. So. so you're not going for the OTK always going second, this is like control. you're setting up a control. board, a yeah, bunch of traps, bunch exactly, of okay, makes sense. Yeah, so it's a control, yeah. Okay, and then of course the best card in the deck, Desire, you know, draw two card, boost your Maju, GG, you know. Yeah, it's cut nuts. Yeah, you normal, you normal border and you use this, they can't even ask you, right? Just free value, right? That's actually kind of crazy, yeah, I, never, you, I never thought of that. Yeah, so for like like border, you just drop your shifter first, and then you drop your border down because you can't use shifter after your normal border, and then you desire. Everything's vanished, so you get like and they yeah. can't ask you. They can't exactly, that's they crazy. Yeah, unless they inching imperm on you. Oh, like on the border. border. Like, yeah. Why would they do that? Right? But then um, they're wasting two cards just to stop. Yeah, just to ash me. Like, yeah, yeah. who does that, right? Uh, the other best card, in prosperity. Of course. Right? Like it'll contradict a little bit because you have all your damage afterward, but. Sometimes like the dig six is just too important. You need also, to... you're playing control. Yeah, I'm playing control. Exactly. So this is actually good for control because you can dig for your judgments, your floodgates, or whatever, right? It's actually really good in control decks. It's not just good for combos. So I really like this card. Yeah, I never played extravagant since I got those. So yeah, uh, best trap basically. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, best fun game. Yeah, exactly, right? Who else? Yeah. So see. Yeah, so how many shifters are you playing? You're playing three shifter, and you're playing this, which is just another shifter. Also macro. Uh, so yeah, you're playing also, five pretty yeah, much. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, no graveyard allowed. Okay. I was thinking of playing Necro on it too, but interesting. It kind of contradicts with Gizmac a little bit. Oh, that and makes sense. I already banishing everything, so they're not gonna have anything in the graveyard anyways. So I'm like, nah, I, I won't do that. So yeah, for other control decks like Dyna stuff, I might play it, but and nah, this one, you this don't one need I it. don't need it. Yet. Okay. And uh, that's why also reason I don't play Called by because. I find lots of time, all their stuff are banished anyway. I can't even call it by their ash or whatever, right? Oh, that makes so sense. So, really country, and I have border too. They, they can't you know, do they anything. They can't ash under border. Yeah, they can't. And I don't care about shifter or whatever, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. So, yeah. Okay, also the spice card, this is. Oh, the spice. Spice. Okay, okay, so wait a second. <laughs> wait a second. Why Dark Hole over Raigeki? Okay, so yeah, I saw a video, you know, so I was like, Yasin, I don't know if you know. Yeah, yeah, Yasin, yeah. yeah. So he explained like why this card is good. I'm like, okay, it's just like, a, you know, it's like Rigaki, right? I used to play Rigaki before this, but then it's like, oh, this card is mine. I'm like, 
that's a good fight. Oh, it does yeah, out mine. It out mine and then it clears your board. It's like. Yo, that's big break. genius. This might go up actually. I it's, never thought of that. Yeah, pick up your secrets now, actually. That's like, and it's a board line. I just want the board and punch them in the face, right? It yeah. Doesn't it doesn't matter if we got you or not, but if they lock me on them, like mine, which like. Because if you have border on the board and, yeah. you, and they have mine, yeah. you can go dark hole and you turn. Exactly. Mine's punch, gone, and then yeah, next turn, Ben Lodge will punch you. Exactly, right? That's so it's such crazy. a versatility. Also, I can use, uh, if I have a Gizmac, right, on the field, I have nowhere to get him out of the field. I can use uh, dark hole, dark pop hole. it, and then banish eight more, and then summon, summon it back. back. And then, you know, more boosting for the that's, module, yeah. that's actually really that's a, smart. That's a spice, yeah. I right. never thought of that. That's really smart. Yeah. Very good. Nice. Yeah. Okay, that's the spells. Now onto the trap cards. Let's see. Uh, best head trap in the game. Right? Okay, uh, yeah. yeah. Judgment. Really. Judgment. You gotta say no to, you know, evenly storms, all that, you know, dark ruler bullshit. You know, you need this, right? You gotta play it. Of course. There, always. And uh, of course, uh, the brothers strikes. You know, it's, like a, it's really good with a uh, border because you just like negate whatever they try to summon from the extra deck. Yeah, and it's just path usually, right? I don't like this. Like, I don't play strike usually with Diana because Diana needs something to protect the normal summon. Yeah, but with border, this is perfect. It's just like perfect uh, board. You know, card to go with border. And then the new two sort of like a. Sort of like strike, yeah. Strike, yeah. Yeah, still a strike, right? Is you know, yeah, I like the car. So, yeah. do you ever use the effect to steal your opponent's monster? It actually came up sometimes, like clutch, because I actually get like free body. For example, like for this, I have like dead shifters, right? Oh and yes, you can use the I dead shifters. Just dump that right? and then get like free body, right? Like whatever, yeah. So. Sure, I'm gonna be honest with you. I hate that this makes sense. I know. I hate it's that this all, deck makes sense. It's all science, you know. It's not. It actually like, is. It's not just like random. It's mathematical. Yeah, three each, you know. It's once per turn. That's why I play too. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. And then here we go, the other best crackdown. So, yep. yeah, so a lot of things you don't want them sent to the grave, or you don't want them, you know, like, uh, what's it called, Rhino Heart or whatever. Clyde Heart, you just take it, right? So they don't get it. It's not a grave, no effect in the grave, so just take it. And then you clear the field, you punch them for a game, right? Yep. So that's the best one. So crackdown's always good. And then the floodgate. So two summon limit and one macro. That makes sense. Macros and macro. Summon limit is like really good for like other decks like Flood Raids or whatever, you know, other combo deck. Just a good generic floodgate that doesn't mess me up. And yeah, I'm playing 40. So 40 on the, in the dock? 40 on the dock, yeah. Okay, so what's in your extra deck? Do you, do you even go into the extra deck that often? Uh, for other some purpose, I'll show you here. Okay. I got some spice here actually. Okay. Uh, you want me to show the side deck first? If you are gonna show this, I think it's whatever you want. Yeah, it makes more sense. If okay, you have, we can do side. Yeah, deck. if you see the side first, that's fine. Okay, for the side deck, I'm playing the back row hates. You know, the storm duster, just generic back row cane. You know, this is for mine. This is just in case. You know, face outlet or whatever. Not clear their thread or whatever. Yep. So, yeah. Pretty generic. And then I'm playing slayer. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, that's why you wanted to show the side deck first. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. There so you go. I'm playing this because it just good like because for like what's it called if i play like dark ruler or something like i can't do damage afterwards yeah for my deck i want to kill them so this is like perfect so i can get a lot of value off of it so and then i'll show you the things i send it's like pretty spicy i like this card that makes sense yeah, yeah. pretty fun card uh, no so i'm showing the spice here I'm playing this what the yeah, runic the engine runic so i play this because because the mega team came out right and yeah. a lot of people have lightning storms now so like like storms are really popular right now and then there's a lot of back row hates for like mines and stuff but for me i want to protect my back rows right so so basically use this and you summon the little girl and it's like a free protection oh that's just free protection yeah, for free you protection. And oh then, okay and then if i go in second i'm facing against like a mine deck or whatever i side this in there like free pop for the mine as well so it's like due purpose oh smart. Yeah. okay okay yeah, this that's is one great. that so it's good going first and going second exactly so going first i use it as a protection for my back row going second if i face like a back row heavy deck this is like pop one like few uh spell or trap and then banish four so it's like that's angry. really good and this is just like search them you know <laughs> this is spicy yeah like, I, yo this is actually this is spice. tech this is tech yeah this is tech, yeah, this is tech okay those are the four and then I'm playing the best card in the game of course you win the game. of course you gotta yeah, play you, have even, to play yeah, you gotta play it's, it's resolve it, you win the game basically yep Evenly is evenly, and then two dark right? This just for the just back, an right? extra yeah. judgment. If I get evenly, I die too. Yeah, right? that makes sense. So three judgment, two bribe, and then you know, few of the runic cards, uh, enough protection. Enough protection. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's it for the side deck. So where's your? So what's the extra deck now? Because yeah, now extra is super spicy. I know, I know the runic. Yeah, you know the runic. There. I'll show the runic girls first. Yeah, so yeah. get them out of the. So I'm playing two. 
So two new runic queens, the girl, so it's just like, you know, a special summon her. You get like Twin Twister or whatever, just uh, use the quick spell and then it summons her. Yeah. And actually it works on the border because it's not a fact, it's just like a condition to... Oh, yeah, that's okay. Because if I play Dyna, I can't even summon this girl out for border. It works because it is summoned out. It's just... It's take, condition. Take, yeah, it takes place of the destruction. So it's not activated. It's just like, you know, it's like continuous, you know? So I like that. The little boy, and uh, it's just like for like good for time, right? You yeah. just summon him out like a like I mean, phase, and then he gives a thousand, you win in time, yeah. Basically. Yeah, so utility pretty much. And then let's see now, I'm going to the spice. Let's see, oh, the spice, the spice, yes. Yeah, so, the uh, I showed you the generic ones first. So, Barura, Inter, so basically, they're super body targets, and they're also ultimate sphere targets. Yep. And Inter is just a uh, ultimate sphere target, so this is very good, you know. You know, grow around. Lots of situations, yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. And then Slary draw one if you need a car or just like, you know, it's very good. Generic. It's also really good against the flu matchup if they don't put up barriers. Exactly. Statue. You said yeah. uh, Super Poly, uh, one time I did it and then I fused their Eaglin and Rubina and then I made like there and then punch they, they can't yeah. continue. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Continue. they pass because they can't make impact. Yeah. So it's really good for that purpose. And also my other super poly target, I'm playing the Prayer of Plants and Starving Man. So, Interesting. Yeah. I don't see a lot of people play this one. So Why this, this one? Because I have space because like all my extra deck is just like Prosperity Fodder. So I have the space to play this. And this actually they came up once. I played against like Dragon Player once. So oh, like okay. Chamberlain, right? And then he like made a whole board of like three darks. Like, he had Borland, Abyss, uh, Abyss, Hot Red, oh, okay. Savage. So like three dark. I like my hand was ass, and I drew super volley. I oh, fused their entire board into board. this, and then just like you know, it was like what the hell? That's like, crazy. Yeah, so it's it's spicy. You can cut it, but I like it. Just you know, I like that. Makes and sense. This two are just generic. Yeah, very good. Yeah, starving venom. Starving venom is really good. I know that. Yeah, it's yeah. really good because it's even if you get it off the floor, like the board, it pops everything. So yeah. they have to be careful with it. And this one is just like a nice negate. It's good to have. And yep. Yeah, and also like they're also both level eight. Sometimes you can make something with like Gizmo. Oh, with your Gizmo. Yeah, yeah the okay. Gizmo target. So yeah, it comes up sometimes. That's not bad. Okay, and my other one turns so uh, swap. Yeah, it's like yeah standard, super poly. you know, super poly target. And I'm playing one spice uh, prep playing can. Oh. I don't even know how to pronounce it. I just like Ch Chimera Rafflesia. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. know what this card does, right? No idea. So basically, uh, so if I send this with Ultimate Slayer, uh, I get to search uh, super poly on my next stand by phase. What? Yeah, read it. So basically, this says you can search any fusion. Uh, you can add a polymerization spell card po or a fusion yeah, spell exactly. card from your deck to your hand. It's basically search super poly. That's crazy. Yeah, and just and then search it and then just pop it. Yeah. Okay, that's that's really cool. That's the spice. Yeah. Okay, and then play one knee. So just because sometimes I have two gizmac, I make it. It's like free sand as protection on the back rows. You know, where just more work. protection, more yeah, sand, more, more and pressure. also it's a slur target. It's an X Y Z. Yep. Yeah. So generic. So I was told before, but I'm like, I don't need it because I've been already. Yep. So yeah. And then Omega just like you know, slur target again, the best one. And the dark, just generic. You know, two dark gizmac, whatever, make something. You know, yep. Grab something. And then I'm on Fergie, just for like a link. Another player. ultimate Yeah, player. I don't like the evil twin one because you, you have, have to play the brick. Yeah, you have to commit one in the extra deck, like the side deck. Yeah, I don't like doing that, so I'm just, I don't know, play there, so yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. All right, well, chair. Mm -hmm. Yo, that's, yeah. I'm, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. I'm surprised this deck has so much like logic behind exactly, it. Exactly, right? It's not just like slap all the stun guys. It's no, not just, yeah, no, it's not no, just no. like play floodgates and turn off your brain. This is like really like Big thought out funny enough. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, okay. well, thank you all for right. the deck profile. Thank you. Make sure you guys like and subscribe if you guys did enjoy. Uh, shout out Chair for this. I love these deck profiles, thank man. You, thank you. And uh, yeah, with that, Spanko and Chair signing out. Peace. Yes,